good morning it's day three of my adventures here in Utah I'm headed to the Golden Cathedral Trail this is my hotel room so don't judge for the mess that I have I will see you guys at the trailhead this is day three on my adventures in Grand Staircase somewhere in the distance over there I'm not sure exactly where but that's my final destination 1500 feet of descent and then I'll be going into a canyon and the end result will be a golden cathedral let this day begin I should mention that there's two ways to get to the golden cathedral one is the one I'll be taking which is going into the canyon the second one is you hike above the canyon and you rappel down there's a hole right on top of the golden cathedral as you can see the trail is marked again with cairns so it's pretty easy to follow I've downloaded old trails to help me navigate in case I do lose the trail. So let's go and see where the adventure takes us today. To give you an idea, I just descended that big rock behind me. Very happy to be here. Look at these beautiful views behind me. I have to say, nature is pretty amazing. The length landscape out here changes so quickly. This kind of reminds me of the canyon walls that I experienced yesterday. Can't wait to be down there. Cool off in the Escalante River. Lookout point. And I see people down there. made it to the Escalante River over here. My shoes are definitely not fit for this, so shoes changed. Let's go. making my way to the Golden Cathedral. If you take a second to look at the beautiful, tall, red canyon walls behind me, I'm not sure how tall they are, but they're very beautiful. Make sure you check the weather before you hit any slot canyon, before you go down into any canyons, and just be mindful that weather can change abruptly. I can't get over how pretty these red canyon walls are. Look at that. After about five mile hike, I think I'm on the final turn until I see the Golden Cathedral. Are you guys ready to experience it for the first time with me? <laughs> Hope you guys are ready because it's gonna blow your mind. Three, two, one. I think this is a good lens spot. Time to say goodbye to this place. Now it's time to hike back out and then I'll be heading to the next trailhead, which is called the Zebra Slots. Now I have made it out of the canyon down there and the last two and a half miles is hiking up the rock all the way to the parking lot. Home stretch of the hike. Behind me is the last set of rocks I have to climb. Up there is the parking lot. At last, I've made it. And on to the next hike. See you guys there. I'm over here at the Devil's Garden, a small stop. Pretty cool place, has a lot of picnic tables so you can come over here and have a picnic. Go check it out, see what's on the other side of it. From what I read from the plaque at the entrance of the trail, this place dates to Jurassic era, so it's pretty old. As you can imagine, it used to be, I believe, a lake here. 
So it took many, many millions of years for these hoodoos to form. So cool. It is getting hot and I'm exposed and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty burnt. <sighs> Stupid me didn't buy a sunscreen. Ahoy friends, travelers, hikers, whatever you call yourself. I am on the Zebra Slot Canyon Trailhead. There was nothing really to show you earlier guys, I was just pretty flat ground. Finally, after a three mile trek, I'm starting to see the walls close in, turning it into more like a slot canyon. There's two ways you can do this canyon. One, you can do clockwise, or two, you can do kind of clockwise. So let's go check out the Zebra Canyon slot. See behind me is the Zebra Slot Canyon. I'm gonna go in there right now and show you guys my first impression. This is the main canyon that people come here for the zebra formation. You can see these cool formations. Even here you can find some water. Here, so. You can see how the stripes on the zebra is what gives the slot canyon its name. Unfortunately, it gets really, really tight. Let me guys show you just how tight it is. Be turning back around and heading back to the car. We did about six and a half mile round trip hike back to the parking lot. So this, these are all the hikes I'm gonna do for today. Fill off on gas and continue my way to Capitol Reef tomorrow. So I'll see you guys there, bright and early.